welcome to episode 10 of Catch Up with Max and Jose. Howdy, friends. It is the one year anniversary of Tasting History, February 25th. Max hit one year of history, food, and, and madness. Madness. Pure it's, madness. It's been a year. Especially with the episode that I did, which was pure madness. <laughs> so, for this episode, we're actually going to skip ahead. We're going to shake tradition. Leave it all behind, and we were going to skip to the cock and trees behind the scenes chat just because I want to talk about it while it's fresh in our minds because yes. it was an ordeal, even though <clears throat> you... <an> ordeal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a bit of an ordeal. <laughs> so you filmed it two, three weeks before you even posted it. So yeah, yeah you always do that. I just don't want to wait too long while right. it's fresh, newly posted, it's out on the YouTube. The big one-year episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was... Um, you know, it was a dish that I never thought I would make, and then I did. And for those of you who haven't seen it, though, you should. You should watch it. You should share it. Make sure other people get a chance to see the monstrosity that is the cock and trees. It's the front half of a pig and the back half of a capon or a castrated rooster stuffed and then roasted. A medieval dish. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, it was kind of a, a big deal. And it went really well. My, my sewing skills were actually a lot better than I thought they would be. <laughs> yeah. All right. Before we move even further, I do oh. want to cover off some quick stats, uh, you quick know, stats from the last year. So countless online articles, 57 videos, 57 videos. if I counted right, four Q&As, two channel trailers, yep. three live TV appearances, two on KTLA, and one <clears throat> on the Phoenix local news. One thank you video for 100,000. Yes. With cool balloons. <laughs> but notice you didn't get one for 500K. <laughs> you get one in a million. One spittle channel. This one. <laughs> yes. I thought you said spittle channel. Oh, sorry. Like, the spittle channel. <laughs> it's because we're drinking. <laughs> it's, our, it's hit me already. It's what, the first drink. What are you drinking? Well, it's my second one. <laughs> I don't know. You made it. I'm guessing it's the same thing that we've been having for it's the last It's Tito's vodka, lemonade, and some soda water. There you go. Yeah, it's nice and refreshing. Very refreshing. Very springy. Because it's yeah. already spring here. Yeah. We're actually California. not big wine drinkers. We do prefer the cocktails, vodka cocktails, gin cocktails. Yeah. I mean, I like wine, but the problem with wine for me is that it gives me heartburn. It gives so me I have heartburn. to. It's for special occasions. You know what's sad? I, I used to take a lot of tums. I used to say that heartburn was just because he was old, but I get it now too, and it's sad. Because he's old too. I'm old now too. Yeah. Well, anyway, back to stats. <laughs> One spin off channel, spin off channel. Catch up with Max. Yes. The next one's going to be Cats up with Max. Cats up or with this Max. might just become Cats up, because I think people watch for the kitties and not us. They, oh. don't, they don't care about oh, us. Oh, Cats up. I get it. Cats okay. up. There you yeah. go. And then lastly, one cookbook in the works. In progress. In progress. <clears throat> coming Barely. out next year at some point. Yes. Okay. That's exciting. What's next after that? I don't know. The sky's the limit, buddy. TV show. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine just more youtube probably oh, which is gosh. fine by me you're already going crazy it. i don't know if you can't even take i it know on anymore. i can't do any more than i'm already doing all right so let's talk about the cock and trees because i've mentioned it like for the last three episodes on this, this channel up, yes, <laughs> yes. So, and it is finally here and it, it finally arrived one year woohoo tell me more about it like because it was an ordeal yeah it was i mean finding the ingredients were was not easy because you can't get a cape on most places um, and you definitely can't get a suckling pig most places. <clears throat> Luckily, we live in Los Angeles, so we were able to go down to the farmer's market at the Grove, and they were able to um, get us both things, and they cut them in half for us, which was a huge benefit because I don't think that I would have been able to cut them in half. And let me interject here, because uh, you did say in your in your video, don't make this, yeah, don't but make in case this. you do want to make it and live in LA, <laughs> go to the Grove farmer's market, Huntington Meats, they're fantastic. Yes, they yes. were very helpful. So shout very out to helpful. Huntington Meats for hooking us up. Yes. Well, not hooking us up because he said to buy it, but you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what? They hooked us up by cutting it in half. And that was, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Can you imagine trying to saw axe through? Saw. Oh, Especially because they did the frozen capon. It was still frozen. And their saw just like buzzed right through it. Was it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was beautiful. And then, so for the cock and trees, it's a medieval, medieval version. So the modern day, I would say, would be the turducken. Okay. Not as not as involved, but the turducken, yeah. and then I'm gonna have to show you the Cthulhu 
turkey yeah, crab leg that monstrosity <laughs> that I've seen That's pictures great. of. Like, I don't even know if people actually eat it. it was, it's a little intimidating, even yeah. more so than the cock and trees, I feel. Um, so preparing it, what did you have to do? Uh, was it already drained? and? It was already drained and <clears throat> gutted, um, but it still had its eyes. Oh. And I had a... I had trouble. You had a hard time, huh? Yeah, getting those out. I mean, one, they're actually really <laughs> hard to, like, you, actually hard to get out. I wait, they were you, couldn't, like, you couldn't have used a, a melon baller and just, like... It's, your eyes are stuck into your head. <laughs> That's a good you. thing. Because I'm always worried, that, like, oh, it's going to fall out. It ain't falling out. They are stuck in there. Um, but it was hard in the fact that, like, there's a reason that we buy ham and pork and... Meats that are already meat rather than animals. Yeah. And it's because it's actually really hard to um, to do that. And yeah. I don't want to do it again. I, I'm going to have to do it again because I'm doing a, another suckling pig um, in a few months. But For a Roman r- suckling pig. People love the Roman episodes, by the way. Yeah, the Roman episodes do well. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm going to ask the butcher to take out the eyes. <laughs> you know what's funny? I, I, I saw you in the kitchen, and you're, like, having a hard time. And I, I walked over to be like, what's going on? And you're like, no, stand Get back. Out. Stand Get back. Out. Don't go in here. <laughs> you were trying to spare me traumatic. from nightmares. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I bet. It was a lot. So as far as the t- stitching, what did you do there to sew the two halves? <laughs> so that's what I was really worried about, because I've never, I've never sewn a button. Um, and so I had, like, I bought twine, and I bought, like, things that are specially made for um, trussing turkeys and all this other stuff. And then I also bought, like, sutures, like, that you would sew a wound with. And that's what ended up working best. Worked perfectly. Yeah, it was like a hook. And I was honestly scared that once you started baking it in the oven, which thankfully it fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were worried about that. But it like, wouldn't fit in Well, the we oven. were worried that... We had no idea what a suckling pig. I thought it was going to be like much bigger it, than it was. It wouldn't fit in a it's car, like <laughs> but it fit in the trunk, and you know, it helps that he was cutting. And half, it was cut in half, so that helped a little bit too. But no, I was worried that once you put the suckling pig in the oven, that the sutures are burst or burn, yeah. and then you would have just two halves of an animal like in there with like filling with string. Oh my god, out. the filling! There's because there's a lot of stuffing. How many eggs like, was that? It was thirty eggs and three huge loaves of bread and lots of lots of filling. Oh my god! So. But you actually liked. That was the best part. It's delicious. Um, all right. It's very saffrony. Yes. And then, so something people mm. asked in the comments for regarding it, it's like, you should have done the gold foil. Yeah. Yeah, they were like, well, gold leaf isn't nearly as expensive as you think. And it's not. You know, you can get it for like $25. You can get some squares. The little squares, yeah. But for enough to cover a pig, because usually it's meant to cover like a little piece of chocolate. Yeah, and you used it in your ginger... In the gingerbread episode, yeah. I've used it. Um, it, it, it I, I did the math, and it was going to be at least $800 to, yeah. to cover the pig. And plus, honestly, and it hard. it's hard to work with. It's so hard to work with. Yeah, so. Half of it ends up like folding in on itself. And I am, God, I imagine it would have looked terrible if you had the gold I leaf. I don't... Because it wouldn't be like sleek. No, yeah, it would have no, been like all no. mottled. It, and... It's not... Midas touched it, and now no, it's a golden. No, it's not like that at all. <laughs> no. So, um... I don't know if you can see this cat, Jamie. He's just like... I think he's just off screen. Well, good for... Is he just off screen? Yes, this he's is why so I fed him. Cute. I fed him so he didn't get the zoomies. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it doesn't always work. He's always hungry either way. <laughs> the camera as he runs around. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going to bounce back to the, the eyeballs. Sorry, I know it's traumatic for you. Um, so you scoop them out, and you put aluminum foil in there. Why did you yes. put aluminum foil again? So if you don't put something in there to hold the socket, like, open while it's cooking, it will, like, kind of close up. Uh, okay, makes sense. Um, and and that's fine. Um, you know, you don't have to put something in there. But if you want to put something into the eye socket yeah. for visual later, which we did, yeah, so then you need to put something in there. I suggest that you do the maraschino cherries. We did maraschino cherries. Uh, I didn't think it would make it look that demonic. Oh, it looks demonic. <laughs> it looks demonic because it's just bright red. Yeah, the I was going to do olives. Yeah, and the, and people thought it was radishes. I'm like, radishes don't have that red, yeah, radish. Some demonic people said sheen. cherry tomatoes. Yeah, which but cherry tomatoes would have worked, but they wouldn't have been period because they didn't have tomatoes in Europe at that point. They didn't. No. Oh, that's right. You did have an episode on tomatoes too. I did. Watch the tomato episode. It's great. You know what? I feel like you're covering all like the staple crops. I, I think we're just missing. I still have tons. Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes is going to be coming up soon. Yeah, people are always asking about potatoes. I know. And I love potatoes, too. Potatoes, anything. 
Well, I'm going to mention potatoes in an upcoming episode. It's not all on potatoes, though. Yeah. So something, um, so for the cockatrice, there are various versions of this chimera in, like, mythology and recipes. No? So the cockatrice and the cockatrice are two different things. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that the words were, like, it was a play on words, but they don't even have the same etymology. Oh, they come from completely different places. Um, cock and trees is like actually referring to the food, um, and the, it means and the cock chicken and, and pig. It's a monster. And where the cock and trees, I can't remember where it comes from etym- etym- etymologically, but it is different. But the words come about in the English language around the same time period. There was a huge obsession with the bestiary and and all of those animal or creatures at this time period and and that's when the foods like designed to look like some of these creatures came about so i'm guessing the term was kind of a play on words got but it. they are different got it got it well, what was the point i was trying to make the point i was trying I to make i'm sorry <laughs> i totally threw them jesus off. well actually <laughs> well actually yes see etymologically speaking <laughs> no um well my point was as far as like and during those times, people were stitching different animals together yeah. for spectacle and, yeah. you know, whatever, show off their wealth or, I don't know, whatever, for don't whatever reason. <laughs> um, the point is that we were, we had bought wings. Yes, we to, bought wings. To stick in, <clears throat> on, on this beast. Because there are stories of them putting wings on, like, cows and other creatures and stuff like that. And Heston Blumenthal made one that had huge wings. It was amazing looking. Um but I forgot. Yeah, we forgot. And I think in the end... We're it, sitting on the chair. It would have just been a lot. And I'm glad that I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would have been just one thing too much. And honestly, I don't think that they would have fit into the to the camera frame without showing, like... Yeah. We don't have a lot of filming space. Our studio so is not a, a studio. Of very close up. Because <laughs> so my... people ask, like, you should, you know, film your episode somewhere else. I'm like, yeah. we have nowhere Where? else. Outside? Tiny place. I'm um, sorry. But, um, and the other thing that we actually left off were chicken feet. Yes, I also bought chicken feet to put on it because you can't get a capon, at least here. Can't get a capon with the head. Can't get a capon with the feet. You know, it comes like a roasted chicken kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I wanted feet on it. And, uh, and so I bought them, but you couldn't stitch. There was like no skin. There was yeah. nothing to... Plus, hold on to. chicken feet grossed me out for various reasons because yeah, they were just scratching in the dirt with her poop. But my mom would actually Gross. cook like chicken feet, rarely like growing up. And I'm like, it's just I'm too good. much. Thank it's like you. disrespecting dinosaurs' ancestors and just like the nails and the scaly, like there's no meat there. You're really just gnawing on skin and bone yeah, and, no. it, and sinew. And... I just watched the thing where someone was making this ancient Chinese, not ancient, I think it was from the 18th century, but this like Chinese soup that had chicken feet in it. And if you boil them, they were like cooked for 24 hours and they were so soft they were like blah, blah, blah. oh and it, he ate the whole thing just like, like slurped it the bone even was soft and so everything. soft i have no desire i mean i think well you don't really like gel gelatinous things anyway, I don't. right i like i love jello but gelatinous yeah, okay. anything otherwise this kind of and i need to because i want to do some victorian food and they love their gelatin the aspects they put it in everything you gotta work with camel bala i know jiggle daddy jiggle for the daddy. next jello <laughs> Is it? Is there anything else re, like interesting on that was left cockatrice? on the cutting room floor? I don't think so. I think most everything got in. Yeah. So we tried it. <clears throat> it was just pork and chicken. It was good, but it was very simplistic. Yeah. No. Like if I had had my way, I would have seasoned it with like my chef Merito, like seasoning some garlic powder, maybe some chili powder, dipped it in some barbecue sauce. It's definitely not period. <laughs> it's not period. What's odd is actually barbecue sauce is kind of period because they use really yeah. A lot of, I mean, they didn't use tomato, which is often barbecue sauce, but, yeah. you know, that kind of sweet and salty, vinegary sauce, that's very medieval. Medieval barbecue. Yeah. You got to do an Galantine episode on that. sauce is very similar to Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. that's a throwback. <laughs> throwback. I don't even remember if I, oh, yes, I held it again, so you didn't let me try Galantine, because you only bought a small portion of me, and oh, that's right. you didn't let yeah. me try it, and I was really salty yeah. about it. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> Well, anyway, so as far as the reception to this video, it's not your best performing video, oddly enough, which we Nowhere were near. kind of disappointed. Nowhere so near. if you haven't watched it, watch it, share it with your friends. Yes. Retweet it. Took a lot of work. Whatever the kids are doing. <laughs> but, <laughs> Put as, it on TikTok. but it is a positive. 
talking about. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> just don't share on Tinder. Make that your profile photo. You're not gonna, <laughs> nobody's, nobody's reaching out. <laughs> don't listen to him, please. Don't listen to me. Um, but the reception is very positive. We, you yes, got so very. many nice comments from people who joined either at your first episode. There's a handful of those. A handful of cheesers. A lot of garum. Like, a lot of garum. garum Most gang. people are garum. Garum are gang, yeah. yeah. A few with chocolate cake. Um, Even a few with Semla. Mela Somos. And then, yeah, Semla, yeah. just like from a week ago. Yeah. It's, it, new, new people every day. Everyone is welcome. Yes. Room for more. No, so we're very excited that... Uh, it, it was well received in that regard. Yes. So, um, those what, who did watch it really enjoyed it. <laughs> what about uh, the roast without equal though? Like, there's a lot of demand for that. Like, yeah, I'm not making it. Are you? I wouldn't even be able to find those birds. Yeah. I just. I ima- mean, this poulterer is very good, but if I ask for a great bustard, they're gonna be like, a what? <laughs> I'm thinking great buster sword. Sorry, Final Fantasy Seven reference. Anyway, um, <laughs> I imagine you would just end up with a giant ball of mushy meat right but the thing is it's not actually meant to be made okay there's no way to eat that cleanly it's not meant to be made it I'll was s- a it was like a a jest i don't know it seems like a bit much well something else that people commented about was the fact that you said that you'd have a juicer <laughs> and you know what we don't and yeah. that's because our kitchen is we have no space tiny <laughs> half more than half of our kitchen utensils are in the closet upstairs and i have to go up and get things and bring them downstairs my beautiful air fryer which is a gift from god it's wonderful is in the closet it's in the closet it's in the closet we have no space yeah need a bigger kitchen yes and lastly Mm -hmm. uh a fun user comment uh that came out someone mentioned that you were wearing the same shirt on episode one as you were for your anniversary videos you didn't plan that right no no I'm just glad I can still fit into we gotta it get... after a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been working out, so, you know, we're kind of on it. Like, yeah, yeah we don't have to grease up to get into our shirts we're anymore. We're working in the right direction. <laughs> but we got to get you a wardrobe budget so you're not repeating shirts as often. Yeah, I only have, like, five shirts. Yeah. I'm kind of the same way, though. Like, even yeah. if I get more shirts. It's I like, know. I still wear the same thing. These are the ones I like. Mm. I love it. So that wraps up our... Uh, history portion of catch up with max yes so i for this uh episode 10 series finale i want to talk pokemon cards so pokemon (laughs) there was a new expansion that came out and it sold out quick and i was actually playing pokemon cards up until like a year and a half ago i you know like i was nine or ten fourth or fifth grade when they came out and they were all the rage but because we were poor i couldn't really partake you know right they're not cheap. They're not cheap. Even yeah. now. And then. Even now, like, just to build a, an actual honest deck. And then early on when we started dating, I kind of got into Pokemon cards again, now that I'm an adult and can afford things. I tried to get me into it. But I, I tried to get you into it. I don't like reading um, in <laughs> he, games. He doesn't like I reading. I read a ton for the show, but. He's a slow reader. I, I am a slow reader. But in general, just to build a nice deck, it, like, you got to spend money to get those rare cards. Yeah. And, no. Yeah. And then I was beating you every time we tried battling, and yeah, it, it, it just fun. wasn't fun for you. No. But. I want you to open two booster packs for us. All right. Where are they? Uh, they're right behind our... Next to... Venus Toys. Which Venus Toys. Which we can discuss before we close up. Yes. All so, right. So, <laughs> this is actually our second time filming this. We had technical issues last time, sadly. Yes. And I didn't... I, I couldn't do it again. But last time, <laughs> Max struggled to open them. So, he opened them for so me. So, I opened them. Apparently, my they're... prop master. Because <laughs> I can't open Pokemon cards, You're... it seems. Um... Oh, Yay. What'd you Eevee. Get? You know Eevee. All I right. need a bunch of Eevees. Yes. Buizel, who's so cute. Yanma, who is very hard to catch in Pokemon Go. Trapinch, who is one of my favorites. And this is, he's weird looking. He is weird looking. Nicket. He's uh, one of the newer ones. Nicket Knight. I don't know. It's a fox. Ooh. Is full art Toxtricity? Toxtricity. That sounds like a dragon. Ooh, that's a good name. one. It's a shiny one. It, a th- shiny. This collection, its drag big queen. appeal is. Toxtricity. <laughs> Sounds like a drag queen name. You're thinking detox, maybe. Yeah. Mm. It's Trixie Mattel. Uh, Professor's Research. I don't think that's like a card, nor is this one. This it's it's an item card, energy card. Gym Trainer. Is that? Yeah. Does that count? You, team, actually, you have Shield version. Team Yell Tallow. 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 This is why I was no good at the game. I'm like, what is all this stuff? <laughs> Floatzel? Yeah. That's a uh, weasel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then. But we got a rare one, so we'll huzzah. We did. You know, is this, that the toxicity? This reminds me of this, that <clears throat> uh, clip with the old lady where she's reading 
She's reading Pokemon names. You opened some of these, didn't you? Well, I did, yeah, because I couldn't hang on. Like Christmas morning. More Pico? He's creepy. No, he's not. He's like the Pikachu of this last generation. Oh, and he's drinking out of a gourd. No, it's a more Pekko. We had it. He was in the, was it the Soul Cakes episode? He was in his Gengar outfit. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Soul Cakes. Watch Soul Cakes. Yeah, I love Soul Cakes. Spinnerack. Ba -ba -ba. Throwback. Another Buizel. Rowlet, who's one of my favorites. Al Jolson. Al Jolson is what I call him. Trap Inch, we already did that one. El this one's shiny-ish. Elde Eldegoss? Eldegoss. Eldegoss? Yeah, I think he's from the last generation. Yeah, he's newish. And then this one is Cramorant VMAX. He's full art Ooh, and shiny. That one's cool. Uh, it's not a shiny. That's Very actually shiny. Actual. He's a full art one. Jesus, I got some good shiny. ones this time around. And then here's a oh, and then here's the same thing. Cramorant, who's not shiny. It's <laughs> not, not a special. Art. It's just <laughs> normal. It kind of looks dirty. Uh, <laughs> this is my favorite name. Thwacky. <laughs> the wacky thwacky. That sounds dirty. Thwack. <laughs> and a rusted sword. That's not very yeah, useful. That's not, I mean, that's it. That's it. Well, thank you, Max. There you go. Now you have to play. If you're buying these, you have to play the game. There's no one to play with. You won't play with me. That's true. And <laughs> you're like, I'm busy. Him. There's nobody else here. <laughs> the cats just chew on things. All right. Well, hold out until we have friends again. <laughs> we have friends. That we can see. Our viewers are our friends. <laughs> our viewers are our friends. Yes. Anyone Anyone want to play Pokemon with him? <laughs> thank you. All right. So before we wrap up our episode. Venus Stoise. Venus Stoise. So Venus Stoise is actually canon to the anime as far in. He's not an actual Pokemon, but in episode 18 or 20 of the, the show, there was a gas leak that was causing illusions and it fused a Venus Put Venus together. With a Blastoise. So this is the front half of a Blastoise or a Blastoise, as I say, and the back half of a Venusaur, two different Pokemon that because the Capon and the pig put together to make the dish, he took them apart and sewed them together. Just for you, Maxwell. So there are two mutilated Pokemon now around the house. I actually threw the Venus in the trash. Oh, it was weird. I bought a new one. Did you? Yeah, I bought them. Oh, thank God. Um, and yeah, it was just it, my thing is his sewing skills. I are stitched it quite good. I almost poked my finger trying to sew the darn Very thing. Nice. Very nice. Hi, <laughs> uh, Jamie. I love it. Um, All right. Well, there you go. I just want to say again, thank you everyone for watching. It's it's been quite an adventure with Max, and it's really turned around what could have been a terrible year, and it's really made it one of the best years, and, yeah. and it's really giving us an opportunity to kind of get history and just bring back old fun recipes. And yes, you know, more people are making syllabub than they probably have in a hundred years. Yeah, and Woo! it's honestly like I think. <laughs> A lot of people are in the same boat as I am where we think history is boring. History is dry. And I think you have such a way with storytelling that you've made it fun. So History is fun. <laughs> right. Yes, yes. Yes. It is. It is. A hundred percent. But you've convinced many people of that. So thank you. And, thank and, you. and look forward to another year. And thank you for giving me a platform to get catch up with max out because you know, i get cocktails sign me <laughs> up i don't need a lot of convincing for this yes and i get time with the kitties and thank you to my twenty thousand subscribers you know like twenty thousand or almost, almost there wow Congrats. and and jamie appreciates all of you too I'm yeah sure. so if you haven't subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit like too that doesn't hurt me and hit at like all. it doesn't hurt <laughs> so right. thank you for watching catch up with max episode 10, 10. the and anniversary episode we'll call it that yeah have a good one, friends. Ciao. Hey, everyone. Thanks for supporting.